Hello everybody, welcome. I'm gonna walk you through a quick example today, another time value of money example, and this time we're gonna do future values. So here you can see in the question, it says, what's the future value of $2,000 in five years? So pretty simple time value of money example. Here we have our timeline, here's $2,000, starting at year zero and five years. Hey, what's this $2,000 gonna be worth in five years? So let's jump right into it. Uh, we have our inputs here. Uh, number of periods N is going to be five. Here we're going to say the discount rate or um, interest rate per year is going to be four uh, percent. The present value two thousand given here. Where there's no payments in between these different guys, so no payments. Uh, that's going to be zero, and we're trying to solve what the future value is. So, how can we do this? Well, we can do it through a couple different ways in Excel. The first one is the equation method, right? So it says future value equals the present value multiplied by one plus R to the power of N. So that's the equation you've probably seen in, uh, in a textbook before somewhere. So if we put this in, this would say, hey, $2,000 multiplied by one plus uh, your discount right here, 4%, uh, close parenthesis to the power of N. We have five years. We hit enter. This says, hey, in five years, uh, if we have $2,000, uh, and we let this sit in a bank account for five years, growing at 4% per year. Uh, at the end of these five years, it should be worth approximately $2,433.31. So that's one way you can do the example with, uh, with future value. If you wanted to do it in the function uh, of Excel, all we have to do is put it equals FV, open parenthesis, and it's going to tell you um, the inputs you have to put in. So similar as if you watch the present value, you have the rate, number of periods, payment, what the present value is, and the type, okay? So if we look at this, well, it says, well, hey, what's the rate? Well, the rate's 4%. So we click on that, comma. How many periods do we have? Okay, we have five. Uh, we click on that, comma. What's the payment? Well, the payment's going to be zero, okay? So we really don't have to put anything in here. You can press zero. You can put uh, this hit a comma button there. It brings you to the next uh, point and then it says, hey, what's the present value? You put 2,000 or you click on that uh, cell with 2,000 in there. Uh, you hit comma. Again, we don't have to necessarily put anything in here in the last component. For example, if we just uh, left this back here in close parenthesis, it was still calculated. Uh, Excel defaults to zero. Okay, so if you don't put anything there in there, it's going to assume the payment's going to happen at the end of the period. And that's in this case, it is going to happen at the end of the period. So let's just keep this uh, as such, okay, we hit enter, and there's a number, $2,433.31. Again, this comes out to be negative, okay. Uh, again, in the function equation, it matters how this goes in. If, for example, we change this to a negative, right, enter, you can see this comes back to your $2,000. $433.31 in it as we did before. Okay, so um, that is uh, the method in, uh, in Excel, two different ways we can calculate the present value. Now, if we fast forward or we flip over to uh, your calculator method, okay, here's a BA2 plus. Uh, again, these are going to be similar inputs that we have. We're going to use these functions here, time value of money functions. I've already cleared out. Um, my time value of money function. So if you have not done that, uh, good practice to do that uh, going forward. So uh, we start with N, okay? So we have five periods. Our interest rate, our discount rate is going to be 4%. Uh, our present value, okay, is going to be $2,000 PV. Again, what's our payment? Our payment is going to be zero. We have no payment at any point in time during these five years. Uh, and we're trying to calculate what our future value is. So all we have to do is press compute future value, uh, and there's the $2,433.31. So that's three different ways you can calculate future value. I hope that video helped. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, please leave them uh, in the below comment area. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, guys.